Hi guys, welcome to the Art Song Question Pack. This paper consists of seven questions, um, all drawn from past IEB music papers. We're going to go question by question, so you'll find each question in a separate video. But let's get going with question one. Question 1.1 asks you to listen to track 1, which is an excerpt from Schubert's Die Earl Körning. Name in the correct order the three characters heard. Once you've listened to this track, you should hear that it is first the son, then the father, and then the elf king, or the Earl Körning. Remember that the clues that we look for here the sun always sings in a higher register and generally in the minor mode. Your father is singing in the low register of the singer's voice and in the major mode. And then your Earl Koning has a much lighter area um, type of, of melody line uh, or an accompaniment figure. And he's got that undulating melody line. So you can use those cues to pick up on those answers. Question 1.2 asks us to explain how Schubert communicates the emotions and or intentions of each character through the music as heard in the extract. So here it's specifically as heard in this extract that you've just listened to in track one. So let's start with the sun. So make sure that you are quite specific about naming your character. And then this question has two parts. It's asking you what is the emotion or the intention of each character. And then we also want to look at how that is depicted through the music. So the son's emotion um, is one of terror and distress. He's feeling really scared and anxious about um, these visions that he's having. And the way we hear that in the music is through the high pitch of his singing, the fact that he's in a minor key, and also the dissonance that we hear in the music. If we look at our father in this extract, he's trying to reassure his son and, and calm him down. So in order to do that, the music um, is at a lower pitch and you've got a more conjunct melody. Um, this links quite nicely to um, the section we did in opera when we listened to Don Giovanni and Donna Anna singing to each other. Um, the, the more conjunct melody, not those big um, jumps between notes, show more control and more calm in the situation. And obviously the, the um, tonality here comes into to play as well. Then finally, our elf king, he is trying to entice or seduce the sun. And we hear that um, through the, the quieter dynamic, you know, he's being quite, um, quite sneaky. And we hear that in the quieter dynamic. And we also have um, the major key. And you can also mention again, the undulating melody line. Finally, we have question 1.3. So it asks us to listen carefully to track two, and then it repeats the two intervals sung on the words mein son, mein son, um, and we hear that three times in the track. So we are asked to identify each of the intervals. So let's have a listen. Mein son, mein son. It's a good idea here to isolate that. So focus on interval number one first. Now, whichever song you use to listen to this, um, my perfect fourth song is um, Amazing Grace. And in that first mind song, I'm hearing Amazing Grace. So I know that this is a perfect fourth. And then if we isolate, we ignore that perfect fourth and we just listen to that second interval, we'll hear that those notes are extremely close together. My song that I use here is the Jaws theme, da -dum, da -dum, and that's what I'm hearing there. So I could say it's either a minor second or a semitone. So that wraps up question one of our past paper examples. I'll see you in the next video for question two.